Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. So, all right, in this tutorial, we're just going to go over some flourishes, some some different types of flourishes that you can do. This is just going to be sort of like a little overview of what you can do with the Bezier tool to create your flourishes and sort of giving you more tools in your tool bag in order to uh, create the flourishes you desire. So alright, so uh, all, all this was uh, completed in Inkscape.47 and uh, you can go ahead and download that on Inkscape.org and uh, it should, you should be good to go. So alright, so let's go ahead and uh, get started with this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to clear these out so we can start fresh and we're going to use this tool right here called the Bezier tool. I'm going to click that and I have this up here because we're going to need to uh, do some path editing once we uh, once we do this. In order to get that you can hit shift control and 7 or you can go ahead and go up here to the path and it's right here the path effect editor. So alright so let's go ahead and start drawing. The first thing that you need to do is uh, you know besides selecting that Bezier tool is make sure that we have the uh, the Spiro path uh, selected and as you notice over here you have different shapes that you can use and you have triangle in, triangle out and ellipse. So let's go ahead and do the ellipse first so you can see what uh, that's going to look like. So uh, with, with the Bezier tool selected I'm just going to click I'm going to click and drag just so that we get uh, some nice curves and uh, you'll, you'll see what Spiro does for us. So alright and then I'm just going to double click to end it and uh, over here in our path effect editor, just to, to give it a bigger, thicker uh, stroke, I'm just going to go ahead and increase this to probably about three. See where that gives us. All right, that that looks good. So, uh, so what the ellipse tool did, uh, you know, for the shape is uh, it gave it tapered ends. So the the beginning end and the right end is tapered. So let's go ahead and see what the um, what the triangle end would look like. So I'm, I'm basically going to draw the same shape with the Bezier tool and you know just click and drag and, and uh, just to, to give us that nice little uh, spiral for the flourish and then I'm just going to double click. So alright, um, I'm going to change this width to about 7 just so we can see what it looks like and as you can see the beginning looks like a flat edge of, of the triangle while the uh, the edge over here is nice and tapered so that will give you your nice nice effect you know starts out thick and ends up uh, tapered the ellipse is tapered you know beginning and end so uh, as you can imagine the the triangle out uh, I'm going to select right there and uh, you can sort of guess what that's going to look like and just go ahead and click this and double click so alright I'm going to change this one to about 8 to see the thickness and as you can see it starts out tapered and it comes in nice and thick so these are just some extra tools that you can put in your tool bag you know for creating your flourishes and um, you know just by using that Bezier tool the, the Spiro spiral and uh, you know the shape triangle triangle out triangle in and the ellipse so, uh, so yeah, so go ahead and uh, check out our other videos on flourishes.